Lottie animations are a great way to enliven a dull web page in the same way that we know a brick enlivens a dull floor. Built on Airbnb's Lossy, the animations are After Effects compositions that have been rendered into small JSON files for the web. And in this video, we'll take a look at getting started with Lossy animations in Squarespace. So we'll cover adding the player to Squarespace, customizing the player, swapping the animations, and then later on in the video, using your own animations and exporting from After Effects. This isn't Squarespace, it's Webflow, and this is how easy it is to add Lossy to your web. This is Squarespace, and the first thing we need to do is to grab the Lossy player CDN. So we'll head over to Lottie Files GitHub page. As always, all the links will be in the description. And under installation, in the import from CDN section, we'll need to copy everything from this box, including the script tags. Back over in Squarespace, we'll head over to our site-wide code injection. And paste what we've just copied from GitHub into the header section. And save the change. And that's it, your site's ready to start using the Lottie player. So we'll grab the Lottie player, we'll stick it into Squarespace, and then I'll show you how to customise it and change the animations. So back over in GitHub under the Usage section, we're going to grab the player and then back to Squarespace and we'll add a code block to our page and paste the player directly into the code block. And then you should see an animation being played. So we've got some options for customising the player and then we'll change the animation as well to something else. So the first thing I like to get rid of is the controls here at the bottom. To do that, over in the code block, we'll simply remove controls. We can also get the animation to play on hover by changing autoplay to hover. I'm just going to leave this on autoplay. And if you want the animation to just play once, again, we can just remove the loop option, but I'm just going to leave this as it is. The mode's set to normal by default, but if you wanted the animation to play forward, then when it gets to the end, play backward, we'd change this to bounce. And we can change the size by adjusting the width in pixels or by a percentage. In this case, I want mine to fill the width of the code block, so I'm going to change this to 100%, which means 100% of its parent element, which is the code block. Next is to change the animation, which is being pulled from this URL. Now, this is where it starts getting a bit sketchy, because the animations are exported from After Effects as JSON files, and Squarespace doesn't like JSON files, but there are a couple of alternatives. The easiest to use is lottiefiles.com, where there are tons of free animations hosted on the site. Simply find an animation that you like, and grab the Lottie animation URL. And back over in Squarespace, replace the animation source URL, making sure that you don't remove the quotation marks. But let's say you've made your own animation or you've bought one from a marketplace and you're left with just the JSON file. We're going to need somewhere to host the file and give us a URL to the animation. A good option for this is a website called JSON Bin, which despite its name isn't a bin full of JSONs. We'll drag in our file, make sure it's set to public, and then click Create. And then we need to take a copy of the access URL, which we can do by clicking here, and we know it's copied because it says copied. Back in Squarespace, as we did when we replaced the first animation, we'll swap the source URL and save our change. And that's how you get started with lots of animations in Squarespace. But one last thing to cover is exporting your own animations from After Effects. This isn't After Effects. It's Adobe Exchange, and the reason I'm here is because we need to get an extension for After Effects called Body Moving. Once you've installed the extension, head on over to After Effects. And I've got an animation that I want to export, so we'll go Window, Extensions, Body Moving. Select the composition from the list. And set a destination folder, and then Render. Once it's rendered, head back over to JSON bin, and we can just repeat the process from earlier by dragging in our JSON file, getting the access URL, and pasting it into the Lottie player in Squarespace. And there we go. So, as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave us a thumbs up below. If you're not already, consider subscribing to see more stuff like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. See ya.